Marco Rubio shuts down CNN's Dana Bash on Trump revenge if uh, if elected. Now, good on Rubio um, for, for speaking out against this dumb stuff. I mean, he had ample, Trump had ample opportunity during his first term to go after Hillary Clinton and all this other stuff, lock her up, as, as people like myself would, would say about her, and he didn't do it. Um, so what makes them think he's going to go in and do and, and, and do this again? You know, they have no evidence to this, but yet they come in and say, oh, well, he's they're going to um, he's going <laughs> to he's going to come after him using lawfare. What do you mean? Like the lawfare that Biden is using right now in his department and his administration is doing right now, how the government is coming after uh, MAGA people is ridiculous. That's they, they're afraid that the, the same tools that they're using are going to be used against them when um, uh when Trump get back in office in um, after November. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to show the clip of Mark Rubio. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. All right, so let's talk about this news here. Now, this comes from uh, BizPack Review. And they report that um, as President Joe Biden, frail, uh, frailty becomes uncomfortably obvious. The possibility of a second Trump term is coming ever close, closer to reality. There is a prevailing conspiracy theory on the left, debunked by a former president himself, that Trump will use his power to attack his political opponents should he win re-election in November. And Trump even said himself that, um, his revenge will be success of the nation, basically. I'm paraphrasing what he was saying, and and um and they 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 still saying that he's gonna like lock up his political opponents and stuff. And Rubio was pressed about this during the segment on State of the Union with Jake Tapper and Dana Bash, where he promptly pushed back on the idea. So let's just play the clip here. Here we go. Well, first of all, I'm uncomfortable with the fact now that we have a president who has go targets political opponents. Like, that's what's happened under Joe Biden. Everybody, when Donald Trump was president, I can't think of a single prominent Democrat who was uh, chased around, persecuted, prosecuted. Right. All of Name that, one. It's funny to me to read these people and hear these people out there warning about all the horrible things they ridiculously claim Donald Trump is going to do if he becomes president again. They're the ones that have been going after their political opponents. Donald Trump yep. has been the one that's been very clear that his vengeance is going to be by winning and making America great again, not going after his political it's, opponents. He said that in your debate that you hosted. Senator, and they're there's the no ones evidence. that have gone after political opponents. There's no evidence that Joe Biden has gone after political opponents. Oh. Op uh, uh, opponents. His are you serious? We all know that all these investigations are going into Trump is being run by the DOJ. In fact, one of the people that was in Biden's administration left Biden administration to go help with one of the cases. So <laughs> that is blatantly false. We all know it. The mainstream media uh, knows it, but they continue to put out this claim like Joe Biden is not coming after um, MAGA Republicans when we know they are. Justice Department. Has... Well, the evidence is in the headlines every day. Well, the every Justice Department is also going after going to jail somewhere. Democrat, your colleague Bob Menendez has is, is in trial uh, trial right now. So it, there's there's no evidence that do, that Joe I, Biden is specifically going after. And my question for you, as a Republican, well, they only go after Democrats. They don't do everything the Democrats the, want them to do. On the ticket is whether you are comfortable uh, with the way that the. Supreme Court ruled, and frankly, not just about January 6th and about the potential for what Donald Trump could do with that power, but any president in the future, Democrat or Republican, it's a big precedent that the Supreme Court set. Well, I think what the Supreme Court did is it clarified what the law is, and that is you cannot go after presidents for official acts, and there's a presumption of immunity for yeah. quasi-official acts or semi-official acts or exactly the terminology they used on I say time and time again, if that was not the case, then Obama would be in court right now for dropping bombs on civilians um, um, overseas, over American citizens, I should say, overseas. So, of course they have immunity. It's implied, it's stated, and we know that. They're just trying to, uh, they're just upset that this immunity is going to end up helping Trump. 
on it. Not, you know, if, they were pretty clear about that. And I think that's it's unfortunate that we have to have that conversation in America today. But understand why this has become topical, why we now have to discuss this issue, because it is clear that we have reached an era where there are people in American politics who believe that our courts are now a weapon that can be used yeah. against their political opponents. You look at what their efforts and what they've done in the courts to persecute and prosecute Donald Trump. They've tried to bankrupt him. They've tried to silence him. They've tried to jail him. They've gone after his allies every single day. Senator, and some of these are ridiculous charges. Senator, Donald Trump has said yes. that he would go after Joe Biden, that he would go after members of the Biden family. That's never something that we've heard. Joe Donald Biden Trump say. has said that his no, he hasn't. And, and you're, I, I watched the debate. You guys up. did a great job. I watched it, and he was asked, and he said, "My vengeance will be winning and restoring America, making America great again." He did not say, "I'm going to go after." Not at them the debate, so but he has said it elsewhere. In jail. Not at the debate. You're right. He said it he elsewhere. Has, he has repeatedly <laughs> said. He has repeatedly said that his revenge will be to make America great again, to undo all their bad public policies. Well, let and by me the way, ask he you. He was president for four years. He didn't go after Hillary Clinton. He didn't go after That's Joe exactly Biden. He didn't said. go after Barack Obama. He didn't go after so any of their consultants. You're telling me we right didn't see now. Under- That's exactly. That's exactly what I said. I made the same point. He he would have been did it during his first administration. And what we're seeing now. You're telling me right now that a second Trump uh, administration would not go after any Democrats, any of his political opponents. Full stop. You can you've confidence that that wouldn't happen. Yeah. I, he was president before, and he didn't do it then. He's already said that he wouldn't do that. He, he, he'll be too busy undoing all the damage of this disastrous presidency. Let me ask I mean, all facts. Everything, everything Rubio said there, I agree with 1,000%. And they keep pushing this narrative like, oh, he's going to come after his political opponents with absolutely no evidence. No, he never said that he would do that. They made this up. Because when you ask them to provide a clip or a transcript of him saying this, and th- there is none. So they're going to continue to push this narrative to try to make uh, Trump out to be a bad man or some crap like that. Um, ignore it. Um, go off of what you hear and what you see from your- for yourself. But y'all leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, Until next time, peace.